54 points increased. There we have it. Let's go look at some more files. Daniel. Oh, that was Daniel. Okay. Matthew, Mr. Powers. Ooh, look at Matthew. 45 items deleted. Look at that. 45 items deleted. And that's when we started his file. Okay. Taylor, let's look at Taylor. Three items deleted, 25 point increase right there. That's when he started. Let's look at William. 22 negative items deleted, 25 point increase. That's when he started, that's the start date, 10 24, 2021. 22 negative items deleted. Who's doing that? Not a lot of people. Renzo, I think he's been a client for three months. His score increased a little bit. 48 point increase. Don't see any negative items. He has some new negative items. How long has he been a client? I think two months. Two months, oh, yeah, okay. I think two months, two months. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, and like I said, um, I'm as you can see, as you can see, I'm not cherry picking, okay? I'm not afraid to tell you that our strategies are not going to 100% wipe out your file like you see on our success stories because that's not the truth. Most of our files will do that because um, I can't be professional and just tell you that, yes, we're going to 100% guarantee wipe everything off. We can in a matter of time. But one thing I can guarantee you is that we'll fix it faster than Lexington Law. I'm willing to bet. I'm willing to throw down money that we can repair credit better than anyone and faster. Um, you won't know that we can unless you try it and compare. But then again, two companies cannot simultaneously repair your credit at once. Unfortunately, there's no simulation um, that can do that for you. So you're going to have to just make that decision on your own. You're going to have to take the information that we provide you, do more research, and, and, and think about it right and just think who is the smartest in this game um, and like I said I'm not cherry picking files I'm showing you the batch that we're allowed to show you we're not allowed to show you 100% of all of our clients we just can't do that um, nor do we get 500,000 clients within a year okay we're lucky to get tens of thousands so the thing is um, this video is transparent I'm not sugarcoating it I'm going to show you um, that we are prepared to work on your file even if it's difficult we will let you know one thing that's really important is peace of mind certainty um, if you went into the doctor and you had you needed a kidney transplant nothing is guaranteed guaranteed even in the hospital no um, surgeon will ever guarantee much they're gonna do the best they can to save your life if you're in dire needs but there's nothing guaranteed in life, but you're going to have to put your best foot forward and do the right research and pick the best doctor, just like you're going to have to pick the best credit repair agency, right? It's just like going to the gym, changing your diet, getting the right advice. You're going to have to seek out the right advice and not just accept the advice because someone is telling you it and it sounds cute. Okay. And typically, like I said, if you take the umbrella of what all the top credit repair companies are doing, you want to do the opposite if you want to get different results. Hence, Lexington Law, Sky Blue, CreditRepair.com, Credit Saint, Fortress Credit, um, Top Flight Assistance, whatever. Okay, what do they all have in common? They charge you a monthly fee and they do a little bit at a time, and it takes a long time, and the results are mediocre. So if you want better results, you got to pay up. And there's a there's a um, Christmas sale that we're having. So, all right, last one, ladies and gentlemen, Laura. <laughs> Ten negative items deleted, thirty point increase. There you have it. Okay. So um, that's all I'm going to show you for now. 
I, I hope this video kind of makes sense and helps you um, see what we're about and help you and aid you in your research. You know? um, Tammy, do you have anything else? I mean, do you have anything to say for people that are watching this? Mm, I want to say one thing that uh, if our clients are wanted to be first result, then uh, I think they need to take care of their credit also, their credit utilization also, because most time, most of the time I see that uh, if uh, two items deleted, then I see 10 items more added. In that case, the score never going to be up. Oh. So they need to take care of them. That's a very good uh, point. Not every one of our clients, and that's just unfortunate, we're doing our best to educate people, but we cannot make people do things. And some people may have a credit utilization that's really high undergoing credit repair, like Tammy had mentioned, but they may not have the capacity to pay the um, accounts down just yet, right? It really depends. So if you apply all of our strategies the right way, and we may have the best, but that doesn't mean everyone's applying, how many, how many people are applying them? Right? But that's still good and bad news. It's good that we're able to get the score up by deleting negative items, um, but it's, it's bad news that the customer or the client is not doing their part in order to lower their utilization. Whether you're doing it or not, you need to make sure that you, you do it. You make it, uh, you make it happen. Oh, one more topic before I leave. This message is for that jerk that was trying to criticize Pinnacle for not taking credit cards. First of all, Credit card companies will not allow credit repair companies to charge that amount on their credit card. Why is that? Because the government kind of mandates the risk and notices a trend within credit repair consumers, consumers, i.e. consumers that pay for credit repair. They have a high likelihood of charging back their credit card. That could be for a number of reasons. One of it is because fraud and the other two is fraud on the customer side meaning they're trying to abuse their credit card um, they don't have the ability to do so or let me rephrase that they're a high risk person meaning they're irresponsible think about it common sense person that has bad credit you know not not responsible financially they have a tendency to not pay their bills so it's kind of smart right it's pretty smart to assess that risk and not accept credit cards. So anyway, um, that's kind of like why we do it. Another reason is because um, our system, our technology, right? Um, all the other companies are charging you a monthly fee because they're doing monthly work. That's kind of like, the, that's pretty much the difference between us and the other companies. We do, we do things faster and more effectively. So anyway, um, I hope you guys like this video. Like, comment, subscribe, give us a call, send your credit reports to info at creditrepair.com if you have a, a question regarding a certain type of negative item um, or if you're interested, if you're interested about come, uh, if you're interested in becoming a client, just give us a call 858-252-6053. Leave a comment with a question or email me directly. And that's it. Take it easy.